So yesterday we talked about how the gaming industry could possibly be a trillion dollar industry by 2030. It's your boy Crypto Million back with another one. In today's video, we're going to be talking about Miria family. We're going to be talking about a gaming project, right? That I feel like has a lot of potential and a lot of room to grow, all right? Sitting here finally breaking one penny salute to everybody in the Miria community that finally, finally... We broke that one penny, man. It's, it's been a lovely, it's been a lovely uh, month, should I say, for Miri, as you can see, setting all time highs. Especially if you were following the channel for a while, you probably got into Miri at at peak fud, right? Dude, it was peak fud. Everybody was explaining on, saying, "Oh man, Miri is they're gonna dump on us, the depths." But now we're seeing an explosive move for the last month. Miri up a whopping two hundred and seventy six percent family so give yourself a pat on the back but i think maria still has tons of room to grow a lot of people compare maria to imx and gala because maria is its own studios but also family and infrastructure play looking to build out the infrastructure of games which is pretty much what we like to see inside of crypto gaming also they have nodes so very comparable to what gala is doing within their ecosystem but why why has Miria been pumping so much, right? It's up to $91 million market cap, which is amazing because I remember this thing was $20 million, $20 million market cap. Now it's in that $90 million market cap. And we've seen this from games. We've seen this from Nakamoto games, right? We've seen this from um, Gala Last Bull Run. So we know gaming cryptocurrencies can really, really put in parabolic move so if you like videos like this make sure that you like subscribe hit that notification bell and keep your favorite crypto and door-to-door -door entrepreneurs inside the algorithms but let's get into some of the things that i like about miria and why i think that it has a lot of potential even from here sitting at one penny if we swing over here to the website family miria has been building a lot of things right they got their nodes ecosystem they've been listed on you know, two or three exchanges in the last month. Uh, the team is docs, as you can see right here. Uh, we can pretty much move to the uh, team here, which is docs to Brendan uh, Duhamel. He's the founder here of Miria. And you can see he's docs. And they just recently joined Neo Tokyo and assigned Alex Becker as one of the uh, um, leaders on the advisory board. So now you got the biggest crypto gaming influencer on board they're part of the neo tokyo community and like i said the games that join this community i know a lot of people don't want to hear this right and, and i get it you know you want to grow your own ecosystem you want to you know what i'm saying kind of like set yourself um to be different from the masses but this is a collaboration effort in crypto this is what we need we need more collaboration and more team camaraderie ship and i think the projects that are joining joining forces with the neo tokyo and because of the massive community right crypto gaming influencers devs founders from not just gaming tokens we've seen the founder of uh galio protocol which is a tokenization rwa project also sitting at that table on uh, uh as a what's the citizen at uh for uh, neo tokyo i think puts even more awareness on the crypto game gives it a chance to reach even more masses and not to add we know in the future a lot of streamers will start migrating to crypto gaming let's think about dr disrespect and how he was working with polygon studios and building out dead drop and and how uh uh you got a uh, game similar to uh, uh, Roblox now getting into crypto gaming. So a lot to look forward to for crypto gaming. I'll say it again. Crypto gaming AI, I feel like, will be the top producers in the next crypto bull run. Um, also, they've been, again, like I said, getting listed, but also um, um, breaking the threshold of different updates within their ecosystem, right? The Myriad Gaming ecosystem is ever-expanding with new partnerships formed every month. Some of the latest projects uh, that have begun on Myriad's Layer 2 include Endora, Sugarverse, Meta, Galaxy Land, Galactic, Born, Whisper of Soul, Oasis of Universe, uh, Rage Effect, Inferno, Battle of Wraith. So, a lot to look forward to. I also like that they have the SDK integration that allows 
developers, right, to come on board and start building out their games within the Myriad ecosystem. So it, it, it even makes it easier. So you don't have to have experience with coding or gaming development, right? It says developers can seamlessly connect to Myriad's SDK and has to the launch of their blockchain projects in a matter of hours. So not just, you know, creating a game and launching it on uh, Mary, you can create a whole blockchain ecosystem, a gaming blockchain ecosystem within the Myria uh, uh, um, world. So I, I like it. I like it. Okay. Um, it's a layer two um, near zero gas fees. They have an NFT marketplace. They allow you to uh, seamlessly uh, transfer in-game assets, right, within the ecosystem, giving players an opportunity at true ownership the ones that really enjoy gaming so if you enjoy gaming right De whether you're a developer or a gamer mary is the place to be as a layer two infrastructure play and even as an investor not financial advice right the two biggest narratives in gaming because you got gaming projects but then you got the narratives within gaming projects like studios and infrastructure and the crazy thing is Maria falls under both. So very, very bullish on uh, Maria. But this is this is this is the utility here that takes the cake. Outside of the fact that it has one of the most bullish teams we've seen at the Founders Docs, um, they have partnerships here with Ubisoft, Activision, EA, Blizzard, Marvel. Can you imagine when they start developing stuff for Marvel? Riot Games, GameLoft, Epic, um, Goldman Sachs, huge um huge projects on board, whether it be VC, uh 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 uh, 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 companies on board, or whether it's just be simply partnerships, these names right here uh, speak volumes on the uh, uh, respect that Myria has inside the uh, crypto gaming ecosystem. This is a Web3 play, but you're starting to see Web2 entities latch on board to these Web3 plays. So um, watch what they do, not what they say. But back to what I was saying, they also have this uh, uh, a marketplace, right? The NFT marketplace. Now, you know, normally when you're doing stuff with NFTs, you got to uh, uh, swap ETH for your NFTs, even if it's a native ecosystem. But with Myria, Myria is live within the marketplace. So now Myria will be used for everything, even the NFTs in the NFT marketplace, which gives it even more utility. They also have a node ecosystem where you can buy a node, um, get compensated in Myria, and contribute to the security and speed of the Myria ecosystem. So a lot going on. Now when you list the NFT or you want to trade an NFT, you don't have to use ETH anymore. You can simply use your Myria tokens and also be compensated in Myria tokens. So Myria is a one-stop shop for everything within the ecosystem, and that's what you want to see with some of these gaming projects. That, that, that was the big thing with Gala. Last bull run is a lot of people were kind of upset that Gala had a token almost for every game. And it kind of was a, it, it was not sustainable. It was, it was, it was a not, a not a sustainable system because if one of the tokens tank, then a lot of people don't even, they just get turned off with the game because it's like I'm playing the game and, but I'm holding Gala tokens. What I need to hold Gala tokens for if we got, town star token you know what i'm saying so i like the fact that you get a chance to utilize myria throughout the entire myria ecosystem um and not just uh simply uh buying and selling tokens or swapping or selling tokens you can actually utilize it through the nft marketplace as well um now what everybody came to see which is the price prediction right if myria was able to hit imx current market cap of 1.6 billion right we're still a 15x away which is huge because that puts Myria around 18 cent. So we're a little bit over one cent. But I mean, who's to say this project can't run to 18 cents? So again, if we see this a massive bull run, and then we see this massive bull run of crypto gaming tokens, I believe Myria is gonna be one of those projects that we see insane gains. And don't get me wrong. A lot, the tokenomics are not the best, but you got to understand how crypto works. VCs, if, if they want to make their money, they don't want to just break even, right? They don't, they don't, they're not in it to pump a token and just instantly dump it at a loss. These guys are in it to win it, right? So as Maria pumps, right, they will try to maximize their investment 
with Mary. They're not looking to dump at the bottoms. Only people that dump at the bottoms, <laughs> only people that dump at the bottoms are inexperienced in, in retail, right? VCs, they, they're not worrying about it. They're going to maximize their myriad of opportunities. So for all the people that say, oh, well, too much VC money, we're going to get dumped on. We got a long way until we get there, right? We got to actually make it to peak bull run for us to even get near where VCs are looking to just unload or dump. And I'm not seeing the the I'm not seeing the the FUD out there where I, where VCs would just want to dump their tokens. Um, and not to add, even if Mary was able to hit Gala's current market cap at a 732 million market cap, that's still an upside of 650 percent, which sits us around eight eight cents. So what? That's almost a six seven x from here. I mean, you do the math. You know, if you put you know, whatever, whatever you can invest into this project. So a lot to look forward to. Uh, I don't think Mary is going to slow down anytime soon. If we still continue, if we continue to get this gaming pump that we, we see, Mary is top notch of the gaming tokens, but it's still not, it, it still doesn't have a huge market cap. It's still under a hundred million dollar market cap. So there's still opportunity there. Um, y'all let me know what y'all think about Miria. When did you get in Miria? I love to know everybody's opinion. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm in it to win it. We got into Miria at the lows. We believed in the project. And now we're starting to bear the fruits of our belief and conviction. It's your boy, Crypto Millie. I'll see you in the next one.